Alright, so I'm going to be reacting to one of my old videos. As about, as about a year old in this video. I'm now almost four years old. But before, I was talking about depression. And um, I haven't really spoken about it of recent. But yeah, I thought let me just go back through my old videos and react to one of my depression videos. And uh, So uh, let's see what this video is about. Let's see if my views are still the same or if they've changed. You know one thing I hear a lot and gets on my nerves when people say, oh, I'm depressed. You're not depressed. You're just using it as an excuse as to why you're not achieving anything. Mm hmm Yeah. Still agree with that. Now, you may hit a low point and you probably have come unstuck. You can't get out of that low point. Now, if your parent has died or someone has passed away, then yes, I can say you're going through a phase of depression. But if you're just like, you don't know what's wrong with you, but you're depressed, I'll tell you what's wrong with you. You're not doing anything with your life and you've hit a low point and you've come unstuck. You are not depressed. Stop using this word depression as a get out of jail free car for being lazy. You lot need to listen to this guy. Yeah, I, I, I wish I was more like this guy. Now, nah, real talk though, 100% truth. A lot of people who use that word, I'm depressed, they're just lazy. All right, there are a small percentages of people who are actually clinically depressed. Like they really have a chemical imbalance that doesn't allow them to do jack. But those are the people who they stay in their house all day long. They haven't worked for 15 years. They can't even be bothered to go to the job center or go to the hospital. They sit there watching Netflix and they masturbate in their own feces. Those people <laughs> are depressed. If you go out on the weekend with your friends, you live a, a social life of an abundance, you know, you go out on dates and stuff, yeah, or you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that takes you out, you go to the clubs and stuff like that, you're always at some kind of like event and socialising and having fun. How the hell can you be depressed? The, the people who are depressed don't leave their house. People who are depressed are at the lowest point. They probably don't even have a cell phone. They may as well live on flipping Papua New Guinea. They just isolate themselves from the world. You are not depressed. What you are is you are lazy and you're making the excuse as to why you can't bother to do nothing. And what you do is you go to the doctor, right? You go and see your GP. Now, don't think I'm, I'm not saying don't listen to your GP, but a lot of you lot just take what the GP says. as Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Your, your GP will tell you, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're depressed. And you'll think, yeah, I am depressed, you know. Yeah, I really am depressed. You start reading all these foolish symptoms online and you think, yeah, I'm that. No, you're not that, right? Stop listening to what your doctor says, right? No, if your doctor's talking about taking prescription drugs and stuff, obviously listen to that, right? Listen to health and safety advice, right? But don't listen to when your doctor tells you, oh, you're depressed, brother. Because what they do, they just look at some damn book, right? Say, yep, check, check, check. All these symptoms, yep, check, yeah, you got this. Oh, you're depressed. Your, your doctor will probably approach you and say, yeah, you're a retard. He said, yeah, I am a retard. No, 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 you're not depressed. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, that was funny still. But seriously, literally, I could pretend that there's something wrong with me and I could go to my doctor today and I could say, yeah, you know, I'm just not feeling good about myself, you know, uh, times are hard, you know, money's not good, you know, just things in my life are not going that well. And you know what the doctor will say? You're depressed. Here's antidepressants and that. No, your doctor should be saying there's nothing fucking wrong with you, yeah? You, you have a healthy body, you have a healthy brain, you've got a roof over your fucking head, you've got a job. There's nothing fucking wrong with you, blood. We use this word depression too, Ross Clark, loosely. You don't know what depression is, blood. You live in a house, you got uh, running water, food in the fridge, you got a healthy body, healthy brain, you ain't depressed, blood. You're lazy. There's people that can't even bother to go upstairs. They can't be bothered to, 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 to do stuff. Oh, I'm too... Bruv, you're lazy, blood. You know how many people... Do you know what real depression is? I know someone who... They're going to have their leg amputated soon. That's fucking depression. People come... Oh, I can't be bothered to go and do that upstairs. Or I can't be bothered to go over to the shops and that. And okay, we're human beings and that. Or I can't be bothered to go and work out and that. Blood. If you had your fucking leg amputated, you'd be depressed. You'd know about, yeah? You'd know about depression.
You got a roof over your head and you're complaining about life is shit and that blood. You've made your life shit. There's kids in Afghanistan who are homeless. Their yard is a bomb site, blood. That's depression, fam. Mum and dad have been killed. That's depression, blood. Man are talking about they're depressed because they can't get a girl, blood. There's an easy solution, fam. Improve your fucking life. Become the best version of yourself. The reason why girls don't want you is because you have bad, you, your, your energy is shit. Girls want to be around guys who are motivated. Girls want to be around guys who, they want to go this country, go that country. They want to do nice things and that. They don't want to be around someone who's fucking uh, just, you know, you're around certain people. I know some people, like, there's a family member. I don't want to go and visit this guy. He's a big man. And my entire life, my 30 years of living on this planet, I've always known this guy to be sitting in the same position in his fucking yard. I don't want to be around people like that because they suck your energy. This waste man was telling me, oh, why would you want to leave Haringey Council and that? Bro, if I never left Haringey Council, you think I'll have these properties that I've got right now? You think I'll be in this position right now, earning free, 350 a day? I'll still be on fucking £180 a day. How dare some fucking waste man who has no money, living in a fucking council house, no car, no woman, no ambition, tell me about why would I want to leave my job. I made a video about this before. Be careful where you take advice from, fam. How dare a fucking man who's depressed because his woman cheated on him about 30 years ago tell me about what to do in my life. Fucking waste, man. I can tell you the Ross Club video. You just, you've hit a low point that you need to get out of it, man. You need to snap out of it. How, how you get out of that? Get out, you, you do stuff. Make plans. Set yourself a goal or a target and try and achieve something. We've all got a skill and we've all got like some kind of talent. Go and watch that video if you haven't seen it, yeah? But we can all be something. Listen, we all go through low points. Now, my low point in life might only last five minutes. No, no, I'm not being serious. I'm being serious. I'm, I'm not joking. If I go through a low point, like it might last a day or something like that. Whereas other people, it may it may last a month. But do you know what? It's all about mind over matter. You have to use your brain. Like you need to be able to overcome obstacles. You know, you you you. The word is willpower, Jay. Willpower. All depression is is it's in your head, fam. The people that suffer from depression are the weakest people on the planet. They have no willpower. If they was on their deathbed, and this is some philosophical type of converse, uh, 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 chat I'm about to give you right now, yeah? But I'm telling you, if there's certain people, yeah, they would be on their deathbed, and no medication or anything could help them get through this or whatever, in it, yeah? There's certain people... They would actually admit defeat. They could be on their death, deathbed and they would actually admit defeat and they would tap out and die. Me, if I was on my deathbed and, you know, it was just down to me to have that will to... Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is some deep philosophical, philosophical shit. But me, I'm the type of I could be on my deathbed. But as long as I have enough will to live, I would live. I've got enough willpower that would make me want to survive. There's certain people, they would just die. They would just tap out. Hard to explain. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. It's some deep philosophical shit. But literally, certain people, if they was on their deathbed and it was just down to their own willpower, they would tap out. They have no willpower. Me, if I was on my deathbed and it was just down to my willpower, I'll survive, blood. I'll wake up. I'll make a fucking full recovery, blood. So long as it's physically possible. You need to develop more willpower. That's the difference between other people. Me... I'm not rich or anything like that, but I'm doing well for myself. And there's other black people that I see walking about on YouTube and that, and they're talking about how they can't get nowhere. There's no difference between me and them. I know I like to think the world revolves around me and I'm made of fucking metal and I'm immortal and that, but I know I'm not. There's no difference between me or, and them. The only difference is my brain. I'm not genetically more superior than them. I've been stabbed, I've bled. I go sleep just like everyone else, yeah, I need food, I get, 
you know, I get a little bit, yes, and now and then I get headaches when I, when I get hungry and that. I'm not perfect. But the difference between why I've got stuff and I'm making stuff of my life, making something of my life, I, I, I'm just wired differently. I guarantee you, these same people that complain about depression and, you know, they can't get anywhere because they're a black person, if they had my brain, they would be doing stuff with their life. And if I had their brain, I will be a waste man too. Your, your biggest enemy is yourself. Your biggest enemy, enemy is yourself. 100%. My favourite proverb ever. My favourite saying, well, yeah, proverb, whatever you want to call it. If there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. If you are strong internally, if you have willpower, the outside forces can't do nothing to you. Unless someone's going to shoot you in your fucking head or kidnap you and put you in a basement, obviously. But as long as you're strong, we are our, our, we are our own worst enemy. The reason why you're not successful, the reason why you're not doing well is because of your life decisions. It got nothing to do with the outside world. Again, if someone's going to kidnap you and leave you in a fucking basement, that's different. But most people have not really experienced no hard and bad traumas in their life. They're just lazy. And they use this term depression as a get out of jail free card, as I said earlier. I fight in taekwondo competitions. Well, I have done in the past. I haven't done it for a while. I've been a bit lazy, but... um. Before I step in the ring, you ask any box or any athlete or anything like that. Don't ask a footballer because it's not much of a, a challenge to themselves. Like it's more of a team effort. But anyone who, who has to compete against someone else, they will tell you there's demons on our shoulders or demons in our mind. And in a non-supernatural way, I don't believe in the supernatural. And they will tell you, you're going to lose this fight, Jay Wise. Or they will tell you, um, you know, Kevin, you're going to lose this fight. You're... you're, you're but your biggest enemy is yourself. You are depressed because you are allowing yourself to be depressed, right? Stop taking the drugs. You don't need to be taking no flipping antidepressants, right? It's a mind over matter. You cannot allow something to beat you. You have to say to yourself, I am stronger than this, right? And th th you cannot rely on drugs. What, what, what if the drugs stop working? The government wants you to take, and this is no... I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Don't get it twisted. Man, don't believe in, oh, this, no. But I'm telling you, the government wants you to take drugs. The government wants you to be depressed because it's easier to control people who are depressed. Think about it this way. Who's it going to be easier to control? People that have strong will and they're positive, they're optimistic and that. Or is it easier to control people who are negative? They're in depression. They feel low. They have no self-esteem. It's easier to control those people. Ten times it is easier to control people who have no self-esteem, they feel low, they're depressed, rather than people who are strong-willed, ready to fight, ready to war, angry. The government wants people to be depressed because it's easier to control people. The government wants to control people. And I'm not talking about some conspiracy theory in here. This is just life. If everyone started purging, well, <laughs> there'll be a big problem out there on the streets because no one could be controlled. Everyone's doing what they want. But not, no, hardly anyone's on that energy to be a criminal on that. Well, what, what if they run out of drugs? What are you going to do then? You need to be able to self-heal. You, you have to have a strong mind. You cannot allow yourself to be depressed. Now, obviously, if, as I said before, you know, if a family member dies or something like that, then, yeah, I would expect you to be at a low point for you know a specific period of time but the way you combat is you have to just try and take your mind off of it and go out and do stuff be active there's no way right you could be depressed right if you're working 12 hour days you've got a child that you need to look after and you're and you're running your own business in that spare time that you have you, it's not possible to be depressed you're depressed because you've got too much free time when you has you're not doing nothing right so do you know what the way to get out of depression right is get yourself keep yourself Depression is synonymous with people not doing stuff with their life, having too much free time on their hands. I know a girl, she used to claim that she's depressed, she probably still is fucking depressed. And guess what? She never had no fucking job. She used to sit at home all day doing jack shit. 
had some technical difficulties with the sound so um, i have to do it this way but yeah i know some girl she used to claim that she's depressed and that and guess what she had no job she used to sit at home all day doing jack shit of course you're gonna be depressed blood come and put us on lockdown we're sitting in our yards all day long of course you're gonna be uh feel like you're depressed and that as human beings we're, we're, we're hardwired to do stuff new adventures and that have fun of course you're gonna be depressed sitting in your yard all day long watching tv like some that's for jail niggas that's what jail man them do sit in this and most man don't sit in their cell all day long okay it's depressing to sit in your cell all day long watching tv you think i've got time to sit in in my yard watching tv during the day you think i watch daytime tv i'm a busy man blood it's the uh, was it the 22nd of october today saturday my girl's sister just had a baby she's going down to where her sister lives that's a four hour drive my girl's telling me yeah can i come with her i said no i'm not coming I'm a busy man. You think I've got time to do a four hour journey down there and a four hour journey coming back? That's eight hours. Plus, hang about there for six hours or a day. No, 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 no. I've got, I'm a busy fucking man. Other man, waste man that sit at home and play PlayStation for two, three hours a day, they've got time to be doing that bullshit. It's 10 o'clock now. I've got to hurry up and finish this video. Although man love to do this take, you get me? I've got to hurry up and finish this video, jump in the shower, go and meet some new tenants. I've got some new people moving into my flat. You think I've got time to be doing four hour journeys and four, what? Nah, fam, I'm not no waste, man, blood. I've got shit going on. So do you know what? The way to get out of depression, right, is get yourself, keep yourself busy. Then you won't be depressed. You don't have time to be depressed. Listen, if someone told me sit in my house for two days and do nothing, I'd be depressed. Of course I'd be depressed. I have nothing else to do. Keep yourself busy. The way to get out of depression is to make yourself busy. Do stuff, right? If you when you if you find yourself coming home and you're depressed, work longer hours. Trust me, you'll be tired. You'll be so you'll be so tired. You ain't got time to be depressed. Right? You're not depressed. Stop listening to what people tell you. You got peers and friends around you. I say, oh, you're depressed. You're not depressed, right? You just hit a low point. You need to snap out of that depression because time is limited. You only have a certain amount of time in life, you know, and you think you've got an abundance of time. Oh yeah, I've got time. You haven't got no time. Trust me. Trust me. Time time flies like that. You know? But you need to just snap out of the depression. Okay? You're not depressed. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station. But yeah, that's basically the video. You see that as well? Obviously, man's made the video and watched it back and realized, rah, the audio is messed up and that. So the thing basically froze, um, parts of the video froze. I couldn't hear myself. I could see myself reacting. I know I was talking, but I couldn't hear myself. Something wrong with the audio. Some people would be saying, nah, burn it, forget the video and that. Nah, man in a bad situation or something's not gone, right? What can we do to fix this situation? What can we do to progress? What can we do to finish this? Black people, their mindset is, oh, things are fucked up because of whatever reason, so let's not continue. Nah, man, continue, blood. Keep going, fam. Man, for keep going, blood. You gotta be like them fucking, you know them zombies in them films, they get cut in half. No legs, just a torso. But they keep going, fam. That's gotta be you, fam. Stop listening to these fucking YouTubers that talk, talk about, oh, I'm depressed. Today, guys, we're going to have a, a two-hour, three-hour live. You're talking about depression and that. The reason why they're depressed because it comes from a, uh, a lack. They're lacking something. Their girl probably broke up with them. Broke their heart. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and the rant. But it's true. Real talk out of here, isn't it? Um... Stay tuned for the next reaction video. I think I'm going to have to see if I can get a mic, a proper mic, because, or, well, I mean, a proper headset or something like that to do these reaction videos, because, um, yeah, I plan to do a few more on it. Stay wise, done, though.